Hello YouTube, welcome back to Tom's Tap. So recently I've been going to auction houses every week. With all the car boots over now for the winter, I needed to find somewhere to source items for my eBay business. So I've been going there every week now, I've been finding some really good stuff as well, so I thought I'd just make a little video, show what I've been finding. But first of all, I'm going to go over all the sales I made since yesterday. Let's get into it. So the first thing I sold was this vintage toy car. That one went for $7.99 plus postage. Next up was Driver 2 on the Game Boy Advance. Sold that one for £4 plus postage. Then it was this Batman Bath Duck. Sold that one for £6.64 plus postage. Then we got Pokemon Pearl version on the DS. That one went for £32 plus postage. Paid £1 for that at car boot sale. Next up was the Story of Four on the Sega Mega Drive. That one went for £38 plus postage. Then we got another vintage car. That one went for £5 plus postage through the Global Shipping Programme. And then we got Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified on the PlayStation Vita. That one went for £13 plus postage. Then we got another vintage car. That one went for £6 plus postage. Next up is this faulty Xbox Crystal console with cables. That one went for £35 plus postage. Then we got these brand new pair of women's running shoes, new with tags. They went for £40 plus postage. And then we got another vintage car with trailer. That one also went for £5 plus postage. And then the last sale was this Wii Fit console with Wii Fit board and game. And that one went for £40 plus postage. So, in total, that all comes to £286.35p. So, pretty good. I must say, I've been averaging pretty much similar to that every single day now for the past couple of weeks. Maybe a bit more, so between probably 250 and 350 a day. So, it's going really, really well. My boxes are getting pretty ramo now. Going to be running out of space in here soon. But yeah, let me get all them packed and posted. And then the next thing will be to pull out all the auction stuff. I've got absolutely loads here. Um, there is some real decent bits. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned and I'll pull all that out in a minute. Right, well this is very, very overdue, but I finally got myself a tape dispenser. I get so many comments saying that I really need to get one of these um, and it's painful to watch me keep trying to find the end all the time and using my teeth to cut it off. So yeah, finally went out and got one. Shout out to Ricky Resales for this. He uh, sent me a link for this one. I'd personally never seen one like this before, but since using it, this thing's absolutely amazing. Um, obviously, you never lose the end with this. So there's two different ways to use this, really. If you just want to cut a little bit off like that and then put the tape on with your hands, you can. It's nice and easy. Or you can use it like a normal tape dispenser. Just go around like that, cut it off, job done. Yeah, really, really good bit of kit. Real nice, simple design. I think it was about 15 quid, got it on eBay. I will put a link in the description if the link is still active. Apparently these are quite hard to come by. Uh, they sell out really quickly, so I will check the link and if it's valid, I will put it in the description. Highly recommended. Now, I've had quite a lot of parcels go missing recently, and it's usually when I'm sending large letters. And the reason I think they're going missing is because these labels, I'm sticking them on the parcel like that, but they come off quite easily. They don't actually stick that well. So what I think's happening is other letters and parcels are rubbing against it and the label is just falling off. And if you don't put a packing slip inside, which I don't bother doing, then yeah, it just gets lost and there's nothing you can do about it. So what I've been doing recently is just taping over them like this. Now it does take a little bit longer to do, but since I've been doing this, I haven't had a single one go missing. Yeah, I mean, that didn't take me that long. I'm now doing that on every single package um, and I haven't had any go missing. Now, I don't know if it's just the glue on my labels isn't very good, but yeah, if you're having that issue, I'd suggest just trying this. Right, so that's them all packed up, ready to go. I'm gonna go drop all them off and then we'll get started on the auction pickups. 
Okay, so we'll start off with these. So this is a job lot of vintage model cars. I bid up to £40 on that. Uh, and then with the added fees, that comes to £48.40 in total. Now, I've been selling quite a lot of these recently. They're really easy to list. They're really easy to post. They sell pretty fast. Um, and you may think, oh, well, some of them are only worth four or five pound each. But that does all add up and it all just trickles in. When I went to go view them on the Friday, so the auction actually starts on Saturday, but you get to go view it on the Friday. I did look through this box here and there's some in here that are worth quite a lot of money. So that one alone, I scan that on eBay. Um, and if it has the ladder and the little hose in there, those bits are normally missing, then that can be worth quite a lot of money. This one's in really good condition. Um, but yeah, that one alone is worth about 50 pounds. And then we've got this one as well. These are all dinky toys in this box. Dinky toys are the ones you want to look out for, really. They seem to be the most desirable and most valuable ones out of all the different brands. But yeah, that one's worth about 25 quid. And there's others in here that are like 10, 15. Now, I haven't sorted through all of these yet, but I have sorted through all the ones in this box. And I've Price them up on this sheet here. So what I do, I just look them all up individually on eBay, look at the solds, and then I just make mine like a pound cheaper than all the others just to sell them faster. So from that box alone, that comes to 237 pounds. And yeah, I haven't even touched the other ones yet, but at a guess, I'd say I'm looking at about 350 pounds worth of stuff here. So from a 48 pound investment, I'm gonna do really well on these. The next thing I won was this large box of mixed consoles and gaming equipment. I bid up to £85 on that one. Uh, this one had buyer's premium and VAT on top, which is £17. So in total, I think that's about £102 I paid for this. Now, I only briefly looked through this myself, so um, I'll start pulling it all out and we'll have a look at it together. So we've got 120 gigabyte Xbox 360 console. We've got a PlayStation 2 console, got an Xbox One console, we've got another 360 console, and another one, and another one. So there's three of them. Uh, no idea what that is. Some sort of Wii controller. And we've got a bag of Wii accessories, nunchucks and tennis rackets and stuff. Got a some sort of dance mat, I think. Don't know what that's for. Load of cables and stuff. Microphones. 360 controller. Third party. Another 360 console, so that's four. Third party PS4 controller. PS1 game. Broken case. Some sort of PlayStation 2. I think there's a multi tap. We got a third party PS3 or PS2 controller. Got an official PS3 one. That one's in good condition. That'll clean up all right. Hopefully it works. Another third party controller. To be honest, I don't normally bother putting these on eBay. I'll just take all these third party ones up the car boot. Save them all for next year. Got an official PS4 controller. Most likely has stick drift or something, but usually still get a fiver for them when they're broken. Third party Xbox One controller. We got some PS2 games. I think they're all just fodder. Got a PS2 controller. Needs a new thumbstick, but I've got some of them, so that should uh, clean up all right. Load more uh, knotted up cables and stuff. We got a wired 360 controller. That will clean up all right. Again, I've got thumbsticks to replace those with. Hopefully get about 20 quid for that if it works. Another PS4 controller, it's in pretty good condition. Another PS3 controller, that'll clean up as well. Got another PS4 controller. We've got a silver PS3 controller. And then we've got three Wii consoles, GameCube compatible ones. And then I think the rest of that is all just wires for the consoles, I think. So £102 paid in total. Now, I don't know if any of it works. I haven't tested any of it yet. Hopefully they do, but even if they don't, I mean, I can still get money for all these as spares repairs. So I think the Xbox One, I think you get about £30 for them, even if they don't work. So let's call that 30 uh, The rest of them are probably like, I don't know, 10 15 each if they don't work. 
So let's call it 15. So 15, 30, 60, 90, 120. They're about a fiver each if they don't work. So 130, 135. And then the controllers, if they don't work, usually get about a fiver each for them as well. So what was the 130? Uh, so 140, 150, 160, 170. I reckon maybe looking at hopefully about 200 if they don't work. Now, if they do work, obviously it's going to be a lot more. It is a bit of work, to be honest, um, but there's still some money here to be made. So pleased with that. So the next lot is these 20 boxed selfie ring lights. Now, to be honest, I don't know why I bought these. They come up and no one was bidding on them. They started off at two pounds and no one was bidding. So I thought, yeah, I'll give them a go for two pounds. Then someone else did start bidding. I got a little bit carried away uh, and I ended up winning them for 14 pounds plus three pound fees. So 17 pounds in total. Now I've looked online. They seem to be selling for about a fiver each and there's 20 of them. So that would be hundred pounds if I sell them all. I don't know how quickly they'd sell or if anyone's going to buy them at all but what i'll do i'll just put a multi-listing up for these see how it goes it's a shame i don't do amazon really because they are all brand new i could just send them off to amazon but i'm not into doing that at the moment so i'll whack them up and see how i go but hopefully that will be 17 pounds into 100. the next one i won is this big suitcase containing mixed console games including nintendo wii playstation 3 and xbox got a little bit carried away on this one as well I paid 120 pounds for that plus 25 pound fees so 145 quid now the only reason i bid up so high on this is because there's quite a lot of good games in here i think there's about three or four spider-man games there's a couple that haven't got discs in, but most of them have. Most of them are in very good condition. Now, I haven't actually checked exactly what all of this is worth. I'm going to scan it all now on the CEX app just to give me a rough idea of what they sell them for and also what I could trade them in for. OK, I may as well show this now while I'm doing it. I get a lot of people asking me what app I use to scan games. Um, and this app I use is a CEX app. And all you have to do, you click on search. And then you click on the barcode and then all you have to do scan it in so they sell that one for five pounds or i could trade it in for three pounds so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on i want to sell and i'm going to add all these to my basket and then we'll see what the total comes to sometimes you will get games and you scan it and it doesn't work so when that happens all you do you can either type it in manually or you can use this Transformers War for Cybertron PS3. That's it there. So that's a good one. They sell that for £25. Or I could trade it in for £16. Spider-Man PS3. Spider-Man 3 sells for £15 or trades in for £10. Now I know this is a good one. CEX sell that for £50 or I could trade that one in for £33. Okay, so I've just finished scanning them all in. Now I haven't checked this total yet, so this will be a live reaction. Hopefully you can see the screen all right. So if I was to take these into CEX, I would get a 266 pound voucher or they'd give me 176 pound cash. Now, obviously I'm gonna sell all these on eBay. So to sell on eBay is gonna be considerably more than that. Um, so what did I pay? I think it was about 140 with the fees. Um, so yeah, I, I guess I'd say I can triple my money on these. So probably looking at about 400, 450. So for 120 paid, I'm well pleased with that. Okay, so the next thing I bought was all these rolls of bubble wrap bid up to 35 pounds on that and then with all the fees and stuff that then came to 42 pounds 36 now i don't know if that's a particularly good price for for what i got but um i just needed some and it was there so yeah i was happy to get that the next thing is this three boxes containing various jugs glassware and random other tat there's all sorts in here loads of sort of pottery and stuff Vintage Nikon camera, random bowls and dishes, just vintage items. We've got 
Sony Cybershot camera in the box. Another Sony Handycam with battery and case. Other various items. But the main thing in here is this. Now, I have no idea how this got hidden under that plant pot so no one else could see it. But we have a old Nintendo Game Boy case which has Pokemon Pinball, Donkey Kong 2, Sonic Advance 2. We've got Pokemon Fire Red version, which is real. I think that goes with Fire Red as well. Uh, Jurassic Park, and then a few PSP games. There is also two Game Boy Advance SP consoles, which do both work. And I managed to win this one for £45, no VAT, and £9.46 fees on top. Now obviously the best thing in here is this stuff. These Game Boys, they're about £60 each. The Game Boy case, I should be able to get about £15 or £20 just for that. Pokemon Fire Red, that's a £60 game. Pokemon Pinball, that's about a tenner. Donkey Kong Country 2, I think that's like 10 15 That's about a tenner. Not sure on that. That's probably about a tenner as well. And then obviously we've got everything else. So there's just random vintage items. I haven't looked any of it up yet, but I'm sure there's going to be some money in some of this. I mean, that's probably a tenner, I'd imagine. Got a vintage chessboard set with uh, chess pieces. I think this handy cam, they sell for about £50 if they work. So I'll have to test that and see if it's all working. Not sure what all this other stuff is really, but again, there's going to be money in it. I think that's like a sewing box let me know in the comments if you see anything here worth decent money because i have no idea haven't looked that one up either but i'll probably put a few screenshots up on the screen this thing says uh 1884 on the back again i'll have to look that up but i think that could be worth something that's got to be at least 20 quid i'd imagine that wall clock fiver or tenner maybe a lot of this stuff will just go up the car boot. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. But again, it looks quite vintage and old. So obviously the main thing in here is the Game Boy stuff. I wouldn't have bid on any of this if this wasn't in here. Probably looking at about £250 worth of stuff there. And then the rest of it, I don't know, probably another 100 200 I'll have to obviously look it all up. But for 54 quid, absolute bargain. So the last thing which is worth mentioning is this GoPro Hero 7 Black, which I got for £60. Um, and then there's £12 fees on top, so £72 in total. Now this was another blind bid. I didn't look at this beforehand, but when it come up, um, it got bid up to about £55. So I thought I'd take a gamble. I was like, yeah, I'll bid up to 60 on it. I wasn't expecting to win, but then I did. And then luckily, it does all work. It's come with uh, two batteries, an SD card. It's got all the wires and everything in there. Uh, so 60 quid, I thought, yeah, that's a bargain. I'll give it a go. Uh, and I think I've put that one up on eBay for £170. So before fees, about £100 profit. So really, really pleased with that. So I think I'm going to end the video there. I'm going to get to work now, getting all that stuff listed. Hopefully this will give a bit of insight of the sort of stuff you can find at auctions and sort of money there is to be made. I'm totally new to this myself, but I'm still finding some decent bits. If you want to check out my eBay store or my Instagram account, check out the links in the description. If you're not subscribed already, please do subscribe so you don't miss more content like this. Give the video a like on your way out as well, it helps me out massively. And as always, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.